Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Uh, this is the first video. So before we really get into stuff, I wanted to just talk about the sort of things that I want to do with my channel, the, the kind of content I want to make. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, big Lego content creators. And for the most part, they, they get the big sets sent to them by Lego a little bit in advance of release date to kind of generate hype for the, the stuff. And, and um, it's all really good content. They, they do really good jobs showing you all the details and talking about, you know, the prices and stuff. Uh, big ones, kind of my go-to is Solid Brick Studios. He's got some really good content. It's always, it's always the really big stuff mostly because, you know, those are the, the, the big sets that Lego really wants to push. Um, and they're usually really good stuff. Um, but then there's a lot of smaller sets that don't really get much attention. Um, like you'll see them in stores, but like, that'll be the first time you saw them unless you went to the website. Um, and then there's a whole lot of like old sets that never got that kind of like YouTube review sort of thing. And, um, you know, that's usually a lot of stuff from like when people were younger. Like I know for myself, I've been collecting Legos for a really long time. Uh, mostly Star Wars stuff. That's kind of my my go-to theme because I mean why not they're awesome um but like it'll be stuff like you've had on your your shelves for a long time you haven't really played with much or like stuff you you got when you're a little kid and just beat the crap out you know ripped them apart and and made who knows what out of I got a bunch of those honestly I have to rebuild them uh if I want to make some more content with those um but stuff like that, you know, I kind of wanted to go over, you know, old sets, little sets, kind of like small, you know, set adjacent Lego items sometimes. Like I've got some of the old uh, Lego magazines from when I was a kid. I want to say like 98, 99. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like 99 up to 2000. And I used to love those magazines. They're... Uh, they're not in great shape because I had those when I was, I don't know, like eight or nine years old. Um, I still have them though. I've got like a, a whole year, year and a half worth. Um, and I'm thinking of going through those. I, I got to find them. They're in a box somewhere. Thinking of going through those and just, you know, flipping through and just, you know, bathing in nostalgia. It, it, it be, it'll be great. Um, but anyway, so I want to, you know, kind of do the small stuff that people don't do big reviews for. and Or it's like stuff that is an old set and sometimes they do like an updated version. I know they've done that with the uh, Republic gunship many, many times. Uh, a, a more recent example is, well, actually, no, the, the gunship, they just did a, a new one. It's a completely different version of it, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, I do know that the, uh, the T six Jedi shuttle, um, originally saw in the Clone Wars. I have that set and they just did a new one for Ahsoka. So I haven't got that one yet, but I will. And when I do the T six shuttle, I kind of want to have both of them side by side, kind of show you like the differences uh, the similarities too, because sometimes you'll have an old set and a new set that are built really similarly, but it's all the little details on the new one that really make it pop. And you know that's something I really appreciate about Lego. The Lego, blah, blah. So what I really appreciate about Lego is that they've come really far over the years. I remember when I was a kid, you had really basic stuff. Um, you know, a lot of just flat. Uh, exposed studs, flat, uh, single piece wings, um, no tiling, very little detail whatsoever. And, you know, they still, still got the point across, like, this is what they're show trying to make. I'm actually looking at the B-Wing right now, and that's the one I have, I think is maybe the second, pretty sure it's like the second release. It's not the original. I know that. Uh, but 
even though it, it's technically like an updated version of the original, it it's still very basic set. Um, and then you have, of course, the Ultimate Collector Series B-Wing, which is in, exceptionally detailed uh, <laughs> in comparison. Go figure. Um, but, you know, it's it's really come a long way. And I kind of just wanted to showcase some of those old sets and a lot of the old um, building techniques they used to use. And, you know, just share my thoughts and uh, really, you know, just be nostalgic with it, you know. Uh, but, you know, I do get the new stuff too. Not so much as I used to uh, because, you know, the, the price of Lego has been really going up lately and... Uh, it's a little hard to keep up, especially on like the really big stuff. I really want to get the uh, UCS Venator, so I'm saving up for that. I haven't gotten any new sets for a little bit. Uh, simply just put the money aside for that because that set is mm, really, really good looking. At, and um, I really want to build it and set it next to my uh, Star Destroyer. Uh, my wife got me that for our uh, for our wedding a few years back, and. Uh, you know, even for a UCS, it is a little, I don't want to say bland, but it could really use a pop of color. And the Venator, that red stripe down the center, that really does it. Like, it, it's very striking. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just those details and stuff that really, really help sell a Lego set. Um, but that out of the way, let's get into what we're actually going to be looking at today. Uh, we are going with set 6313287. This was the buildable 2x4 red brick. This was a gift with purchase back in November of 2019. Um, I do believe it's a VIP exclusive, um, which, I mean, pretty much everyone is part of the VIP program. It's free. Uh, although it's kind of fitting, I, I do believe that it is either soon or has already started to be changed to, I believe it's the Lego insiders program. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't really know a lot of details about that, but I'm pretty sure it's about the same thing. Um, but this, uh, this is not the first time I've tried to make this video. The first time I, I recorded this was actually three days shy of a year ago. Um, and it's just, I, uh, I don't know how to edit and I needed to learn, but I, I filmed the content. Then I was going to learn how to edit it. And, uh, I was having some issues with my computer at the same time and I just never did it. <laughs> and it turns out it was a year ago, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna go over this again here. So this, like I said, this came out in, uh, 2019. I did not get this through the VIP program. Uh, I actually got this secondhand from Bricks and Minifigs. That's a great place. Like, if you don't have a Lego store ne near you, or you uh, you don't want to pay shipping, I mean, on Lego, usually above a certain price, it's uh, it's free shipping. But anyways, I digress. Uh, Bricks and Minifigs, not a sponsor, really great place. Uh, they've got a whole, whole bunch of things, and I got this pre-built, so I don't have the box. I got this pre-built from them for, I believe it was like 15 bucks. Uh, this was, yeah, a year ago. Um, it was 2023 now. Yeah, so it was, it was, uh, last September 2022. And, um, when this was originally offered, it was, uh, for purchases of $200 or more, you would get this free. Um, and then I do believe that later on on the website, you could have just bought this outright for uh, $9.99. Uh, this set has 72 pieces. The parts list is right here. Hopefully you guys can see that all. Um, you know, not a lot. It's pretty simple. 
As you can see, there's there's no actual 2x4 in this set, which is kind of ironic. But, um, God, it looks great. I, I saw this at Bricks and Minifigs, and I was like, what the crap? I forgot about that. I need to get that. And, and so I did. So, here it is. This is the 2x4. And it looks just like one, and it's just fantastic. Um, it is hollow. Uh, if you wanted to put anything in there, you can. Um, God, just... I love this thing. It's so good. And, you know, this one of the best parts about LEGO is you take these tiny little pieces and you put them together and you make literally anything. And someone decided, let's make a LEGO brick out of LEGO bricks. Because why not? Uh, it comes with this stand. It's actually pretty nice. You'll set it in there. It doesn't actually connect or anything. It just sits there, which is fine. Um, it fits in there perfectly because, hey, you know, square Legos fit with square Legos. Who would have guessed? Um, there isn't really anything design-wise to talk about with this. It's literally just plates and uh, bricks put together. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of it, you know. Um, they did have not just the red one, um, the next year, ah, camera, um, in 2020, they released basically the exact same design, but in teal and this keep hitting the camera. This is set six, three, four, six, one, oh, one. This is basically the exact same promotion. The 200 plus or more dollars, you get this as a gift with purchase. Um, as you can see, it's basically the exact same thing. Except, I do believe they, they switched to these quarter circle tiles instead of just the full circle tiles. I'm, I'm assuming that it's probably because they didn't have the full circle in this teal. Um, teal wasn't really that common of a color. Um, I... Got this for 20 bucks sealed, so, you know, 15 for built, 20 in the box. Sometimes you just get, you know, the, ch the cheaper one because, hey, you know, the extra 5 bucks came with the instructions. I can just build it myself. I don't really need the box. But sometimes it's just something really special, finding a in-box set. You know, this is in pretty decent shape. There's a little ding in the corner here, a little bit of bending there on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. But... This is really good. I'm not going to be opening this one. I I quite enjoy sometimes just keeping those as, you know, kind of a collectible. Especially when I already have this one here. Um, this is fantastic. Um, I am not sure the time of recording this, what these actually go for on the secondary market. Um, I just never checked. But, I mean, this one was 15 that one's 20 It's It's not really that much. Uh, the teal one was sold on the LEGO website for $12.99. So, you know, a difference of, you know, 72 pieces for this, 110 pieces for that, basically just the, the quarter tiles there. And they bumped the price up $3 over the course of one year. And, you know, it, that kind of shows you just how, you know, frequently the prices have been going up uh over the years you know, especially recently uh, I, I remember like um the a bunch of like the ucs sets like the ones that were at 200 dollars, all of a sudden went up 40 dollars, and the ones that were above i want to say 300 went up 50 bucks and it's like come on lego i'm trying to give you my money but you're making it real hard um but, you know, th these are really great little little display pieces. Um, here's a better view at the stand. It's got these slopes here and the slopes there to kind of have it sitting at an angle. And I really enjoy that. It's the little things, you know. Um, and then we even have this tiny little guy here. There's just a little baby right next to it. Um... But yeah, so that is the buildable 2x4 bricks. Um, 
obviously if you've got the parts in other colors you could easily build these to be any color you want so long as you've got all the pieces for them and um you know it's just this little stud and it sticks on there and i just i really like these they're they're silly they're you know really nice lines it just looks like a brick and that's the whole point you know two by four and a two by four so it almost it feels like a duplo block but it's it's actually bigger but i just love it it's really good uh anyway this has been fun i I'm going to try to figure out which one I want to do for my next one. I'm I'm leaning towards these little guys over here. Um, so sometimes I'm going to do, you know, mocks, you know, my own builds and stuff like that. I, I have a couple of those. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be sets and stuff. Um, I have a couple other gift with purchase things. Uh, lately, they've been doing like the, the uh, poly bags with the... Um, like the seasonal stuff. I think the last one I got was the spring. And then I got two of the uh, the Halloween themed ones. Come with a lot of really cool little bits and pieces in there. Uh, I might do one of those at some point. Um, we'll see. Um, but anyways, it's been really great having you guys here. Um, thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, if you liked it, let me know if you got any, you know, any, if you, if you have any other of these in other colors, I, I didn't check for them, but if you do, let me know if they exist. Um, I might pick them up actually. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for being here again. Uh, do the whole YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, whatnot, whatever you want to do. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.